Hey, close. Time to start building the lemming jugs. I think she's pregnant. Let's take a look. Is she out there? There is Hale. There is Hale. In the door. Let's go outside. Is Hale pregnant? What do you think that belly is? Are you pregnant? Do we need a lemming jug for your babies? Oh, you look pregnant. Look at this. Yeah, all right. We'll go get to work on this. Oh, you loving her? And there are the geese. Everybody's out. It's raining now. Let's get back inside. Klaus, you want to play? All right, time to start building. Furring strips, one by three by eights are cheap materials, so see what I can do with this. Here are my hand sketch plans. Let's get to work. Cut in half. They make four foot lengths. I cut 14 of those out of seven boards. Now I need to make a per panel two sides that are 30 four inches tall and so I'll get to cutting those up and I'll assemble. And these are the first two panels done. They didn't come out quite as planned because I thought I had different spacing but it's two and a half inch spacing on one end and the top end ended up being about two inch spacing and in the middle bit three and a half inch spacing. So they'll make them probably reversible, upside downside can be switched, which is kind of nice. Accidental feature. Um, next up is to get the screw eyes in there, which I have somewhere here. Those go into the ends to be um, the receptacles for the rebar piece that will stitch these panels together when I use them. Aligning the screw hooks, that should work. All I need is a piece of rebar. Stick these together. Mounting screw hooks in the wall. These do align somewhat. You just need the rebar. And more mounting screw hooks in the wall. This is just some Okay, that's it. Lemming jug almost finished.